Our top story tonight, for the first time, the Obama administration confirms that Hillary Clinton's private server contained classified state secrets. Clinton's email controversy started last year when we learned that she used an unsecured home server for official business use while she was Secretary of State. The State Department is not releasing the emails, but today it said 22 of the emails contained top secret information. It says they were not labeled classified when they were sent, but today's revelation raises new questions about the use of that private system for public business. Dave Bryan joins us now with the latest developments. Dave. Gee, do you think we could throw another wrench into the Iowa caucus process that we've had so far? Pretty amazing. The new email controversy couldn't have come at a worse time for Hillary Clinton. With only three days left in the hotly contested Iowa caucuses, where she's facing a tough challenge from Bernie Sanders, the question is will it affect caucus goers? Thank you, Davenport. At a Friday night campaign rally in Davenport, Iowa, Hillary Clinton urged her supporters to show up Monday night at the caucuses. If you will stand up and caucus for me, I will stand up and I will fight for you. But now it's possible the latest disclosure about highly classified emails on a private unsecured server could have an impact in Iowa. Now the State Department has revealed that 22 of the emails contain top secret information and will not be made public, although it acknowledged those emails were not labeled as classified when they were sent. State Department spokesman John Kirby announced that seven email chains from her private account, a total of 37 pages, are being upgraded to top secret. That in consultation with the intelligence community, we are making this upgrade and we believe it's the prudent, responsible thing to do. Top secret is near the highest level of security classification, reserved for information that would cause exceptionally grave damage to the national security if released. The emails in question were on Clinton's private server for years at her home in Chappaqua, New York, before she turned over 55,000 pages of emails during a growing national controversy. In an interview with NBC Nightly News anchorman Lester Holt, Clinton was asked why voters should shouldn't be worried about this hanging over her head in the 2016 campaign. Because the facts have remained the same, uh, there was never any information sent or received that was marked classified to me. For people who are watching this play out and know the Republicans will come at you on this with an open investigation, shouldn't people have some concern? No, they shouldn't, Lester. I just don't see it as anything that uh, will in any way cause uh, any voter to uh, a voter with an open mind to have any concerns. In a statement, Clinton's campaign called the move overclassification run amok, the result of bureaucratic infighting, arguing that in at least one case, the emails appear to involve information from a published news article. Some Republicans don't see it that way. Donald Trump tweeted, the new email release is a disaster for Hillary Clinton. At a minimum, how can someone with such bad judgment be our president? And Senator Marco Rubio said even before this latest disclosure, there was already plenty of evidence that Clinton did not play by the rules for secured email. There was highly classified information on her server. What I know for a fact is that if a member of my staff on the Intelligence Committee had done that, they'd have been fired and probably would have been prosecuted. I spoke by satellite with UCLA political science professor Lynn Vavrick, an expert on presidential elections, who's in Des Moines. She told me the disclosure may come too late for voters in Iowa to move away from Clinton. Well, my sense is that people are, are just starting to dig in and digest that news. And I think in terms of Monday's caucus, it, you know, there aren't, there aren't very many news hours left between now and Monday. And I think it will depend on the severity of uh, the revelations. Well, we'll have more with Professor Lynn Vavrick coming up later in the show about her impressions of the Iowa caucus campaign and some things we might want to look for when the returns start coming in on Monday night. And, Jeff, there will be a quiz uh, after this. So. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. Now, Dave, your professor there said that there might not be any fallout from this email controversy right. at all for Iowa. So what are the forces at play here? Well, there are a lot of things going on. First of all, this Clinton email issue, of course, has been up and down for a long time now. It's a major issue for Republicans, but not so much for many Democrats who feel Clinton's being victimized by Republicans who are desperate to take her down and blowing the issue all out of proportion. And remember one thing, Clinton doesn't have to win Republican caucus goers over on Monday. She only needs to win Democrats. Now, if she wins the nomination and this issue continues to bubble up, it could be a bigger problem in November. But now, having said that, I can contradict myself and say it could have some impact 
even in the Democratic caucuses for Democrats who are still trying to decide between Clinton and Bernie Sanders in what's expected to be a very tight race. Again, I'll be back at 930 with more on the Iowa caucuses and where this is all headed. Lena.